I'm skipping the intro again today to bring you a very quick Cadence tip. Now for this tip, you do need the Cadence Pro plugin in order to set up this action. So I've seen it so many times on websites and in businesses whereby someone fills in the contact form, but it doesn't actually reach your inbox. So you don't receive that inquiry and you may lose out on that lead. Now I do have a whole video that walks you through setting up SMTP and ensuring that once they click submit, that lands up in your inbox. But today I'm going to show you a tip that is just another way of ensuring that you do save those emails. So with the Cadence Pro plugin, they offer you a database entry um, capture. So if you click on your Cadence form, wherever you have put that on your website, you can go to submit actions here on the right hand side. Now I've got email, so that ensures that it goes to my inbox and then redirect, which redirects the contact form to a thank you page. And I recently did a video on my YouTube channel showing you how to set up a success page and also how to ensure that it is your secret marketing weapon and what exactly you need to put on it. So if you click on the drop down here on the right hand side, you will see this database entry. So what this does is when someone fills in your contact form, it captures that um, entry and it pops it into a database, which you can see here on your WordPress dashboard. So I'm just going to click update. And if someone now goes ahead and fills in my contact form, that entry will be saved in my database, which is accessible here on the left hand side under cadence and then form entries. So there we go, there's form entries and you can see all the entries that have come through my cadence form and I can click here and I can click view and then that will bring up all the information. So if my contact form isn't being received in my inbox, I can always come back here and I can read all the entries. Now this is super important. Again, I cannot stress how important it is to keep checking your contact form and making sure that it is working and that all the fields, there's no um, issues with maybe your recapture or anything like that. Okay, so if you liked this quick tip, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.